where she said, you're not going to tell me who I am. I'm going to tell you who I am. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry or Teresia. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing the mixed girl tag or the yeah, Mischling's tag, which is basically just me answering like these 10 questions about being mixed, biracial, and yeah, what my experience was like. So if you want to stay tuned and stay tuned and understand my story. And if you haven't subscribed that, then please be sure to do that. New videos coming every week, bro. Like you should subscribe, stay tuned. 2017 is the year, so subscribe. Let's get into the video. Number one, what are you mixed with? Well, my mother is from Trinidad and Tobago. She's of Afro-Caribbean descent. And my dad is half German, half American. So my mix in general is black and white. Hello. What ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? I have gotten Brazilian a few times. I've gotten Cuban once. I, 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 I like East African, like Ethiopians think that I'm Ethiopian. I remember one time I was coming home from work. Little story time. I had my headphones and I was really tired and there was this woman sitting right next up opposite me and she kept smiling at me so I smiled back and then she looked like she was talking to me so I took my headphones out and she was like, oh my god, where are you from? You look like my people. This is, a, I can't remember what accent she had. She was telling me that she has a son who's around my age and that you know she would like to, I was like, oh, that's so sweet, but it's like, I'm not looking for a man, sweetie, but thank you. Yeah, and I think I've gotten, like, Eritrean as well, it's like East African in general, I said. I had all the main ones, like Latin America and then Africa, basically. Ooh, African American as well, obviously. Because I speak English and people are like, oh, are you American? You know, what's up? No. <laughs> is your hair curly or straight? My hair is curly. Like, um, I had my hair in a bun yesterday, so, like, I brush hair and then, like, hair, they, um... What do, you, what do you call that? The texture kind of changes when I brush my hair out and like I plait it overnight, which is what I do, so that it's not like crazy when I wake up. So my curl pattern does kind of change, but my hair is really curly, obviously. Um, was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? I would say for me, yes, because like who am I? What's my, am I this or am I that? Um, so I would say it was definitely kind of challenging trying to figure out like where do I fit in more? Like am I just black? Am I just white? I mean obviously not white but um, it was not easy because I felt like I was black but then most people didn't accept me as black when I was in Tobago. I didn't feel like I fit in because there was always like kind of jokes or you know little points here and there like ooh you know oh white girl or like uh German girl and stuff. And then when I'm here in Germany, it's like, when you say I'm mixed or like, oh, my dad is German or something, it's always like, what? Wait, what? And like, pull back, like, wait, you're mixed? And it's always like this big thing. It always kind of annoys me or kind of hurts me in a sense because it's like, what? I can't please anybody. I can't like be. Ugh, it's just, it's kind of hard to explain. So, yes, it was a bit challenging growing up. Which background do you embrace the most? Well, due to the fact that I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago, I'm sorry for this light, but this, like, ugh. Due to the fact that I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago, I will definitely say that side. I mean, like, obviously when I speak, you can hear it sometimes more than others because I try to, you know, just soften the accent so that most people can understand exactly what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so I definitely would say my Caribbean, my black side, most because that's mostly what I look like. Have you ever been teased for doing different? As I said, yes. Yeah. Have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? Ashamed? No, but I've dealt with that feeling of wanting to be either or like I just wanted to be black or I just wanted to be white because I felt like that way people would just accept me for like Theresia who I am and sometimes I feel like being mixed is always like you stick out in a different way I just I didn't feel 100% like everybody else so I didn't feel like I could just 100% be myself I always felt like I had to be a bit more whatever way so that I could be more of the group or, I don't know, just fit in a bit more. I just wanted to be either or. This in the middle thing is just not working out for me. What is this middle ground? Just let me be either one. But now I am definitely okay with it. I mean, it's still kind of annoying sometimes when people come at you with like ignorant stuff. Yeah, I, I've never been ashamed of it. Do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? In a sense, I would say yes, because you do have the best of both worlds. Like you are part of two cultures or two countries depending on your mixture um mixture so in a sense it is a beautiful thing that you know you have different elements in you as we all do regardless of being mixed or not um we all are mixed in some way so you do have the best of both worlds but at the same time you have the worst of both worlds too because as much as one group might claim you sometimes it's like you're never gonna be 100 percent of that group in a way what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing i would say being able to connect to different cultures on a 
more personal level perhaps because you may have family in country A and then you also have family in country B and those two countries are completely different. Um, but you still know how to like navigate those two worlds, but that's not just a skill of being mixed or anything But I think it's cool that you kind of connect two worlds in a sense You're that bridge or that gap sometimes for two different groups of people who may never see each other, remember never come together But because of you in a familial sense you become that bridge you become that Connection and I think that's kind of interesting and nice So I think just that diversity and sometimes being mixed does lead to being more open depending on you know what society what culture you've been brought up in to just see people for people and not always based on this because you know how you feel on both sides of that spectrum um, any advice to someone who's struggling with their multiracial identity don't listen to negative people don't absorb any of that negativity and any of the bad energy that people want to put on you as to what you are who you are like there's a quote from Nicki Minaj where she said you're not going to tell me who I am I'm going to tell you who I am so if you feel that you're more A or more B and you truly embrace that and that makes you happy then to hell with anybody else and that's not just about being mixed that's like a lesson I would say for life learn about yourself regardless of this this and understand who you are i think sometimes when you don't feel like you belong to either side and you're just in the middle kind of by yourself sometimes you are left to think a lot about identity and what it means to be black or what it means to be white and these concepts of race and if they're real at all or if these are just illusions because to me at this point in my life i realized that race is not what we always well what at least i always thought it was where it's like this inherent thing that you are born black and you that is what represents and identifies you in this world but it's actually not you just happen to have been born in a body do you understand what i mean and i don't mean that negatively like there's so much historical and cultural baggage that comes with race and ethnicity and we can't ignore that in our race fueled world but at the end of the day i am not my hair i am not my skin i am the soul that lives within people are people life is life i hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of long um sorry about this light integration it's like if i sit right here this is i should have been here the whole time so it's like two windows on the side and if i'm here it's too bright but here's two. ah this would have been the spot ah. definitely advise you to subscribe for more videos so if you have any questions about this topic you want to see more i actually do have a project coming up about this topic be sure to stay tuned for that and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you in my next video bye bye